Okay. So, um, as I stated before, we were going to start blogging about her little excursion with her braces. Um, she's lucky and she's not going to have to have as much orthodontic work as her brother. Um, her teeth were, the doctor said she had a beautiful smile. She's had three or four that were turning and he was worried about the teeth wearing down quicker uh, than normal because of the way they set. She had a hair of an overbot, so he just wanted to fix it. Said she had been under a simple 18 month treatment. As of right now, she doesn't have any bands, anything like that, just straight bases or uh, straight braces. And they said that they would, um, when she comes back in six weeks, discuss um, if she needs bands or not. She's got the brackets on it for bands, so we'll see. Yeah, I thought I broke my something. I thought I broke something. Yeah, she thought something was going on because it felt weird, like the bracket that she put the bands on. So, was it as painful as everybody told you it was going to be? No. And she went in there originally just for a consultation and left with braces the same day. Smile. See, and they're pretty. You can't really tell from a distance, but she's got, um, can you tell? She's got purple and black bands on. The only problem that she's having thus far is one of the wires has bent out a little bit and is poking her jaw. That's totally normal. Uh, orthodontists will just bend it back in place, sometimes trim them if they're a little long. She has some orthodontic wax that she can put back there that will keep her from having any kind of issues with like sores or anything in her mouth. So what we're going to do is keep a, a blog series, which I'll make a special section for it on the channel, just with her stuff. And I'm going to start turning everything over to her so she can film what she wants to and then I'll film her visits so you can see exactly what's involved. I wish I would have started it the day that she started her braces, but I actually had to be pulled aside, taken in another room, and talk about the crossing part of it with our insurance. So I couldn't. Her brother was out there aggravating her to death. So, are you happy with the choice? Yeah, but when I go back in to change the colors, I'm changing it to pink and white. The white ones I read turn yellow. So I wouldn't go with white. I would do silver or like bright green with pink. That'd be really pretty. Dad tried to get me tried to get me to get orange and white. Yeah, the white ones turn yellow, I found out. So I don't think you want to get any white ones, do you? That's nasty. So, you want to let them vote on what colors you get next? Yes. If you're interested in having a say-so or want to make a recommendation, what colors do you think she should get next? She pretty much can choose from a variety of colors, um, different tones and stuff like that. So uh, you can either vote one color or two. Yes. She's allowed to pick up to two colors. And if you have any questions for her... Uh, we'll do a little bit of that on our way to the orthodontist office uh, in March, March 17th. She's actually going back for her first recheck and to have them tightened and get new bands. So if you have any questions, leave them below and we will pick them out. I'll write them down for her and I'll let her blog on the way to the orthodontist office and answer some questions that you may have for somebody that is new in braces. And then maybe we'll revisit this a little bit later when she's closer to the end of her treatment. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about like braces, just ask me. I've only had them for a couple of days, but... I'll say this. She left me Friday after the orthodontist went with her father and ate steak later that night. So her mouth is a little sore, am I right? Yeah, but I still got to eat steak. Yeah, but her mouth is a little sore, but nothing like she was told. That's why I wanted to do this, because all the little girls or boys at her school had her terrified that this was going to be, like, horrible and putting her in immense pain. And some of the videos that I've seen on Facebook, or not Facebook, but YouTube, also are talking about how much in pain they are. And, um, you know, some of them are just people that are new with them that don't really know what to do about certain things that you're actually told in your first visit if you pay attention about using the orthodontist wax, the warm salt water, uh, the way you have to clean them. You really have to stay on top of cleaning them. Um, make sure you clean behind the braces and stuff really good. Uh, Flossing is very time-consuming at this point. Um, 
takes but, forever. Yeah. yeah, and we were we're really lucky to get the orthodontist that we have. He came highly recommended for adolescents, uh, children, and adults. He's really good for uh, early prevention uh, for problems that may arise. Um, and so once we got hers completely paid off, uh, Aiden will go in for an expander, braces on the first like four or five permanent teeth in the front of his upper and lower jaw. Uh, he'll have an expander on one jaw and I'm going to take a wild guess that he may need a uh, neck brace thing uh, for his top jaw, which what that does is it keeps the top jaw from growing while they try to push the lower jaw out for it to grow and catch up with the upper jaw and then he's gonna go on um he'll come out of that wear a retainer for a year just at night and then when he is old enough to get his full set of braces he will but what they want to do is to get his bottom jaw growing more while his let while his top jaw is slowed down just a tad so he can maybe catch it all up if like if you're getting braces and there's like something you want to eat that's on the list that you can't eat, just put it in really small pieces. Like I said, I can't have chips, but I just break them into small pieces. And the orthodontist did say that was completely fine. It was sitting right there when she asked. And then, um, but I wouldn't do that to popcorn because it'll still. Yeah, popcorn's going to be a no go. We have one here allergic to corn anyway, so popcorn isn't something that we have a whole lot of in this house. And. Some gum that you can get is trident. It's trident. Sugar, trident. It's sugar free, so I have like three packs of the orange kind. Yeah, and if you hurt, just take some ibuprofen or Tylenol. It's nothing horrible. The way that the hygienist told me, and she wears braces. She said that she's gonna feel like her teeth are bruised and it's ligament pain. So topical anesthetics like Amosol or Orgel will not help. Just to take ibuprofen or Tylenol. And you took ibuprofen yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, and the only time it will hurt is, like, if you're eating something after, like, the first couple of days you get your braces. Because I'm still hurting. Like, when I ate that sandwich, I had to, like, gnaw on it from the back because it doesn't hurt back there. Yeah, it's just where they're pulling the teeth tighter. And then in a few days, they'll settle. And then she won't hurt again until she goes back and has them new bands and has them tightened down a little bit and as long as she doesn't miss an appointment she'll finish up on schedule possibly ahead of schedule depending on how well things do and then she'll be in a retainer for a year and then when her brother starts we will document him too because he's going to have a lot more orthodontic work done he's looking at having some kind of orthodontic device in his mouth for possibly seven years I um, so his is going to be a little bit more ongoing. She just got really lucky. Uh, for a long time, we told we were told that her orthodontic work was going to be outrageous, but her jaws grew, and she ended up having a gorgeous smile to begin with. There was just some teeth that were turned, and her bite was a little off. So that's what they're fixing more so is the bite than anything. I thought I was going to have to have headgear to sleep in. You what? I thought I was going to have headgear to sleep in. Yeah, she was worried about that. but I wouldn't yeah. have cared. So far, so good. Some of the gear, they don't add on until later. But, yeah, he said that she may have to have um, bands on the next visits. Like I said, she's got the brackets for them, like, right in this area in the below. And she thought something had messed up on her brackets earlier. And what's really funny is I had pointed them out to her when she sat on the floor. Like, I pull her lip down. I'm like, hey... That's the bracket for rubber band, and there's a bracket for rubber band there, and you've got one on the other side. Not all kids have to wear rubber bands. Um, there's different reasons for them. And he said, as of yesterday, she doesn't need bands at this point, but it doesn't mean that when she comes back in six weeks that she um, may not leave with them. So there's a lot of upkeep to them. It takes her a lot longer to do her... Um, so... Her regular nightly routine and cleaning her teeth is extended a little bit because she's got to like thread the floss through each and every tooth. Very time consuming, but they said as she gets used to it, it'll become better. So if you guys have any questions, ask. She's happy to answer them. I figured there need to be a video out there that isn't so discouraging to girls that are going through this or boys because, I mean, she's honest. It hurts a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, not something you can't deal with. I mean, she had them done and ate steak the same night. 
Uh, but if you have any questions for her, just ask. If she can't personally answer them, maybe we can get the orthodontist to. He's really cool, and I think he would probably do it. Thanks, guys.